Today I will be taking apart my donor engine for the heads and parts to sell. So the first part is to take off the ECU with some 10 mil uh, sockets. In order to take the ECU off, you take off these black clips and then flip these metal ones down and pull them off. It's probably smart to put them in a bag and label all of your bolts and stuff because we'll never remember how any of this goes. The next step is to pop this clip out of the, I guess, fuel rail protector. And then there's a 12 mil bolt right there and a 12 mil bolt on the other side. And then you could pop uh, this guard off. Now that you got the ECU mount slash, I guess, injector protectors off, we can unclip this right there. Uh, unclip the two injectors and then take them out with a 12 millimeter socket. Now we can use a fuel line uh, remover to remove the fuel line right here and pull the injector harness off. And now we just have to remove this clip back here and the injectors on the passenger side are off. To remove this side's injector shields, it's a 12 mil bolt there and a 12 mil bolt right there. And then this, you can pull this off. Now we just remove the uh, injectors and the fuel pump. The fuel pump uh, connector is a little tricky up here. You have to get a pick and you press in that tab on both sides at the same time, which is the difficult part, and then it pops off. Now that we have that, we can uh, remove these two bolts that are, uh, yeah, that are 12 millimeters. Now we remove the fuel line like before and undo this clip, and then we'll have the injectors uh, totally out. We can now remove this 10 millimeter bolt and move this line to the side. And now we take off this connection and these two lines. Now we have to remove the lines from the throttle body and there's a clip for that sensor right there. And there are two lines right down here that we have to remove. Passenger side is a little more tricky. You have to remove the clips uh, and the connectors for the coil packs and then unclip this right there and you can move that around and then now we have these to remove and they are 14 mils and then we can take this whole bracket and move it to the side and remove one two three and then there's three on the other side and then we can remove the manifold and the throttle body before you can pull off the manifold there's a clip to remove part of the loom this connection right here and now that you got that apart, I believe you can lift it. Nope, you have to take out this 8mm bolt and then remove this part down here. All you have to do now is remove this line and the manifold comes out. Now that we got the heads off, we want to tape over the intake so nothing gets in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this engine has 70,000 miles on it and it, it is uh, relatively clean. Ah, oh, there you go, better. Um, I still think that I'm gonna, when I take the heads to IEG, I'm just going to have them uh, clean it up and rebuild them because there's a little bit of buildup. Now we remove one, two, three, four clips. Uh, there's two uh, like zip ties to remove and one eight millimeter bolt and now we can move this to the top and actually if we undo this we can just throw the whole uh, harness to the side to remove this hard line it's two 17 mil couplers up here and then three 10 mil uh, there there and there now to remove the tensioner you have to take off these two pulleys and then there are some bolts back there there and there and you can remove this and then we can take all the bolts off for the front cover over on this side, we had to remove this one, this one, these two, and it clipped down here, and then we can remove move the harness up here, and we can continue removing all the bolts on the front. Now to get to these back uh, bolts, we have to take the water pump off, and it's just three 10 mils, and then you can just put the screws back in there. Now that we got all the 12 mils around the outside out, there's five uh, that run on the side and there are 10 mils you can take them off and now you should be able to take the cover off Before you can pull the timing cover off you have to remove the main pulley uh, I forgot this uh, It's a 22 mil and you'll need a high power impact and then you can just take this off and put it back in After a little bit of mallet and prying action you get the cover off and now you're here 
Um, this has 70,000 miles on it, supposedly, but it looks very, very clean for that much. So I'm not sure if this was a replacement or what. Um, but either way, now you got to take off the, uh, the tensioners and then the chain. So those are uh, two tens, two tens, then you can remove the chain. Um, and then uh, you can continue. Now that we got the rail off and the coils out, we can now remove this mount and we can remove the head cover. Now that we removed the head cover, we can take out the cam bolts. They are 12 millimeters and then these. Now if you take out these two 12 mils, you can remove the top of your head and you will then, all your rocker arms will fall out, so make sure that you have all eight of them. Uh, the next step is to remove the head studs. Okay, triple square was wrong. They're actually 12.14 mils. I thought that made more sense for a Subaru. Now, these head studs are not reusable, so you can just chuck them, but when you remove the head studs, make sure you work from the inside out in a crisscross pattern. So get a breaker bar, break them, um, and then loosen them up, uh, you know, like in that pattern, and then you can pull them out. Also, I was not thinking, and I did not put a pan underneath for the uh, uh, coolant, and now I have a big coolant leak. I'll vacuum that up later. But the next thing you have to do is remove this guide right here, and that's a uh, five mil Allen. Okay, I got the heads off now, and as you can see, it's in a, uh, it's in okay shape, you know, it's, it's got some build up in there. I got some junk in there when I took the heads off. Um, but there's no real scoring that I can feel. Uh, so I think I'm going to strip down the long block and then saw the long block on, uh, on the forums. And now we just repeat this with the other side. And we should have uh, two heads off, a intake off and then a long block. The driver's side now has the fuel pump, so those are two T40s, and then this should come off. Uh, in order to remove the fuel pump, you have to remove the 17 mil hard line, and then the pump just comes right out. Uh, now we're going to remove the uh, 12 mils and remove the head. Okay, another unique thing on the driver's side is this coolant line, so we just take this off and then the head should come out. Okay, now we're going to take off uh, this bolt and that bolt down there, and I believe all of the hoses should come off. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the rocker pivot things. Okay, so I have it fully broken down except for the engine mounts and the uh, oil pan, which I need my lift and I don't have any hydraulic fluid, so that will be later. Um, but you can see, very nice for uh, 70,000 miles. I'll sell the long block, and then I have two heads in pretty good shape. I have a throttle body, an ECU, an intake, which I'm gonna sell, and then the front cover, I have to look up the, or look into the oil pump to see if they're scoring, but I might be able to use that too.